Nanmu, though, often referred to as the Venice of the Pacific, is a labyrinth of stone and water that continues to baffle researchers and travelers alike. Nestled off the coast of Pompeii, one of the federated states of Micronesia, this forgotten city is an engineering marvel made up of nearly 100 artificial islets constructed on a coral reef. Now, when I say artificial islets, I don't mean some piles of stones resembling anthills. No, these are colossal basaltic rock formations, some of which weigh up to 50 tons. What makes this all the more awe-inspiring is that these megalithic structures were built without the aid of metal tools or the wheel. How the ancient people of the island managed to transport these massive stones from their quarry remains one of the most enduring mysteries of Nan Mado. Adding another layer to the mystery, the purpose of Nan Mado is not entirely clear. Although it's commonly believed to have been a political and ceremonial center for the Sordilov dynasty, which ruled the island for over a millennium, there's still a significant amount of conjecture. Theories range from the site being a center for ritualistic activities to even some outlandish speculations about extraterrestrial involvement. Yes, you heard that right? Aliens! While archaeologists are quick to debunk the ET theory, they can't easily dismiss the enigma of the site's construction. With no record of how the enormous stones were moved or how these artificial islets were crafted with such precision, Nanmado continues to be a subject of scholarly debates and conspiracy theories alike. But wait, it gets even weirder. Local folklore adds another layer of mystique to this already enigmatic place. According to the island's residents, Nanmado was constructed by two sorcerer brothers, Olisopa and Olisopa. Using levitation to move the massive rocks, these sorcerers supposedly built the city as an altar to Nanason Sop, the god of agriculture. Although scientists might frown at the notion of levitating stones, they can't deny the inexplicable air that shrouds this ancient city. Many parts of the site remain unexplored due to its swampy and overgrown terrain, making it a gold mine for future discoveries. The Sordila ruled until around 1628, when they were overthrown by a man named Isoclecal. He started the Nanmorki era, which sounds like a really cool video game. The Nanmorkis lived at Nanmudo for a while, but eventually they had to move back to the mainland because they got tired of bringing their own food and water. Over time, Nanmudo lost its association with prestige and its population dwindled, but the site still holds many mysteries and cultural significance. Archaeologists have found artifacts like stone and shell tools, necklaces, and even cava, which is a plant with mild sedative qualities. So if you're an adventurer at heart, longing to solve an age-old mystery, pack your bags and head for Nan Mado. Just be warned, the local laws require you to obtain permission before venturing into the ruins. After all, a place as mysterious as Nan Mado doesn't open its secrets to just anyone. You'll need to earn it. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be the one to finally crack its enigma.